Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video we will show you how kind of in details how to install that air intake from Burger Motorsport. That's the stage two that end up where the fender liner is underneath the bumper. Uh, so we're gonna go into steps how to disassemble what I need to remove and then how to put it back in nice and smoothly. There is instruction but there is a few things that is not mentioned so we said it's good to um, go over it in details if you guys wanna um, wanna see how it gets in. Uh, so let's get started and we'll go from the beginning step by step. Just before we start, make sure the car is in a position that you know you're not gonna move it around because we're gonna remove the battery so you don't wanna get it stuck and try to connect something to move your turn your turn your vacation uh, your vehicle on and move your car. So make sure the car is, is parked in a spot that you know you're not gonna have to change that position so now we're gonna start up we're gonna need to remove the battery we're gonna need also to remove that stock uh, air intake so uh, let's go ahead move the battery we're gonna remove this pole take this one out remove the positive and negative and I think all these these two here are two 10 millimeter the terminals bolt is also 10 millimeter then we're gonna remove the bat the, the battery uh, then we're gonna be back to to get the after we remove the battery we're gonna disconnect the sensor here I think that's a mass flow sensor uh, we're gonna remove it then we're gonna find out how to remove that box So we took the battery off, we removed that uh, sensor, we'll just clip here, uh, then we're gonna have to remove the tray. So these three here are 12 millimeters, uh, this one here to remove the, the stock air intake is, I think we're gonna have to get that nut off, we're gonna have to loosen the clamp here. Okay, so that's the clamp. You have like a, a nut there that you're gonna need to loosen. I think it's gonna be 10 millimeters. So you're gonna loosen it so you can, you're can you gonna be able to remove that whole uh, air intake arm that will come from here after you loosen that bolt. And also you have these two here. I think that's where the air gonna is coming to the intake. So you're gonna loosen this one. You have a dot here. Um, I think you can open it, remove the top part, then pry the lower part. I think it's just like some uh, rubber gourmet spot that it's attached to. So let's do, do that. Remove the battery tray, remove that air intake. So now behind the battery uh, shelf or place, there's that bracket is holding these two hoses. We need to disconnect, uh, unbolt these two bolts. This uh, the air. The reason I start to remove the air and take in pieces, I wish I would remove it in one piece, because when I try to wiggle the air intake tube here, it starts actually to loosen that back part that going to the turbo charger to the turbo and i don't need that so i decide to remove everything then i will have more wiggle room here so to... what's what's really need to be done actually it's need to disconnect this tube from this piece of rubber but keep that piece of rubber connected to the charger to the turbo Now we're gonna start installing the first uh, tube here that will go directly where there's a turbo uh, rubber piece in the back that we removed the uh, old one from it and then we'll, we'll connect it to the same bracket and use the same nut. All right, so we finished uh, installing the first piece. Now we're gonna have to take out 
the mass airflow sensor from the old air intake and we're gonna install it in that new connection piece and the mass airflow sensor is literally two Philip head screwdrivers and it's gonna come out uh, when you take it out make sure you be careful some of them I'm not sure this one is one of them or not but some of them they have a, like a kind of rubber gasket um, if you take it out so fast you can tear it up and uh, I don't think you can replace that but um, so just be careful when you take it out <laughs> all right so technically the air comes from the bottom of the car goes through the filter goes through here go through the mass airflow sensor and goes to the intake this way so technically the airflow is this way and here on the new part it says the airflow that way so I'm gonna take it the same direction because if you looked here, there's sensors facing the air. So we're going to take it the same direction. Airflow going this way, airflow going that way. We're just going to install it. It's kind of, that's it. So the new piece comes with two new screws for the mass airflow sensor. The other one, it's, it's still full of screwdriver, but make sure that you use that because the thread inside that piece it matches the thread on these screws, not the old screws. So now, next step is gonna be reinstalling the battery tray. You need to remove these two bolts. Oh, the two bolts. Yeah. So we're gonna undo what we did. So now the mass airflow sensor is completely installed and always make sure that you have the airflow arrow is going toward the intake. And so don't flip it when you <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, make sure that's always follow the arrow airflow and the arrows. You can see the arrow, but the arrows on the other side, yeah. Um, because you still, if you, that's supposed to go, if you flip it and turn it, you still can plug it in. Maybe the plug is gonna be opposite. the plug, the plug is gonna work because you can twist the plug. But the whole point, yeah. look at the mass airflow sensor, it has this sensors, yeah and the air goes this way and the sensors need to face the air going in. If you flip it, the sensor's not gonna feel anything because the air is gonna actually go around it. Yeah. So that's the right direction. Always follow the airflow arrow. So now we're gonna to make install, it easy. Yeah, we're gonna install that redu or... Reducer. Reducer, okay. Uh, and and it, the kit comes with a reducer, and a clamp. both clamps, actually let's flip that clamp, make it easy to install, uh, the other clamp. Alright, so next step is going to be, I didn't fully install this, it's still loose, yeah, I installed it this side, but that side, we might need to go in or out, so I lift it loose, so we can actually have a wiggle room. I don't know what's gonna happen, so I'm pushing it to the back right now to see what's gonna happen. But you gonna have to actually remove that wire clip to remove that wire out of the way because the big tube is gonna go down here. So you might gonna have to rerun that wire somewhere or zip tie it somewhere else. But after we put the big tube in, we might be able actually to put it back where it's supposed to be, but if it's not, we're gonna zip tie it somewhere. All right, guys, you remember I told you I'm gonna leave that loose because I don't know where it's gonna go. And now it came handy because we are gonna have to install this shield. That shield has a groove right there. So it's gonna just drop here. Again, these are not in the instructions, so you're just gonna have to look at the pictures and try yeah, to and find it out <laughs> you have here uh right uh, right angle yeah it, and it's, it's gonna go here and it comes with the bolt and a and a washer and a nut to attach it right here in the tray let's get some light here there we go the tray of the uh, the battery there's a hole right there and that's where it's supposed to go so now if we actually push this Put that in the groove for it. Start to push back here. Let me untighten that clamp a little. All 
right? Um, action this way. All right, so I think we're gonna go with the screw going from the bottom up. So the tighten the lattice will be easy and if you wanna make ready to, I mean, get yourself ready, you can see what Allen key size you're gonna use with the bolt and just have it ready. All right, so we found the Allen key matches the so bolt. Size five. Uh, the, yeah, in this situation it's five, size five. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just go from the bottom up. Actually, I don't have a space for all that, so I'm gonna use the short side. Now we're gonna get the uh, washer and nut ready. And it looks like what, it's 10 millimeters? I think so, we'll find that. It's either 10 or eight. It's 10, it's 10. Are we gonna tighten it now or we'll give it to give us some more room if we need? Uh, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. Yeah. At least it held now everything in place, but I would like to tighten it before we put that big pipe. Um, uh, you know what? I think we have a space from down here to reach the bolt. So let's leave it like that. All right, guys, next step is gonna be, we disconnected this clip from the harness, from the body of the car. This clip, if you can see it, let me get some light closer to us this here. This one from here and this one from there. Here yeah, this one goes here, this one goes there. Um, so we can open a space so that big pipe can go, it should go down here like this. And if we press it down enough, it will meet here. And we're gonna start installing. Putting the harness back, I think the safest thing is just leave it like that. I don't think so. You cannot like try to force it. Back I, I, to thought, I thought I thought actually we're supposed to like zip tie it to anywhere, but it's already held in place. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. But let's and put I the rather, pipe in, push it in, and then uh, we're gonna find out. We need to put the rubber boot first between the he, piece. Okay, here. which is this one. Yeah. Okay, but. There was another idea actually to make the harness go behind the pipe. Like we will go this way and go with the pipe that way. But I feel the harness is gonna be rubbing against the body here and there and there's sharp corners. It might cut your wires. So I, we're gonna go with the, just push it up yeah. and make the pipe go through mm -hmm. that way. Uh, it's safe for the wires, safe for the pipe. The only, my only concern right now, that's if the pipe actually touching this body with the vibration, would it make any noise? If it did, that's cold pipe, it's not gonna get hot, so we can actually put some uh, uh, Too face or yeah. some kind of sponge, uh, I don't know, sh shock absorber, if you wanna call it. Um, some kind of uh, insulation between the body and the pipe. That's if it did, any vibration so let's see what's gonna happen. i forgot to mention that we removed that um uh spare shield down here it was held by like um one fastener and two bolts it's in an instruction so it's easy to remove so, so you, can, you can show the picture of the instructions on the laptop right here yeah that's where it shows how to remove that section so you can have access from down there um so far, we don't know what is that bolt in the red circle in the instructions. We found the bolt, but it has nothing to do with the installation of that cold air intake. Yeah, so we're just going to keep going. All right, guys, I connected the uh, rubber connection uh, between the mass airflow piece and the big pipe here. Um, I did tighten the clamp from that side, but this side I'm not gonna tighten it because just in case if we wanna twist the pipe, move it in a little bit in, a little bit out. So I'm not gonna tighten that clamp to the end. And don't forget that we still have this bolt. This knot, it's not tightened. The shield is still loose. We're gonna tighten that at the end. I still have this one. Uh, actually, I just tightened this one, yeah. 
This one's not gonna go anywhere anymore. I tightened those two clamps. Now I only have this one loose, just in case if I wanna move this pipe. Okay, so now we go from under. We have the filter there. It's a kind of big one. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And we'll see how we're gonna fit from down there. That's not big, that's huge. <laughs> it's bigger than this. Oh yeah, I've seen bigger, but this one for this car, that's huge. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, and that's how, before you, before you install that, before you install it, that's how it's gonna look like from the bottom before installing, I can't see that much. Okay, let me get the camera. That's how it looks like, and the, the big filter is supposed to rest in this area, and don't forget, the filter's not gonna get dirty or wet, because that shield is actually gonna cover it up. You have to make sure your shield is intact. Here we have it, guys. That's how it looks from down here. It is filling the whole space. I tried to push it. Okay, the light is off. I tried, anyway, I tried to push it a little bit away from the wires so it get more uh, space down here. So now we're gonna go ahead in the tub and tighten everything. So now the moment of truth, we're gonna hear the car is gonna make a difference in the sound. Wow, that car was so quiet. Ribbit. It sounds so beautiful and sexy. It sounds like a turbo. <laughs> yeah. Before it you can hear like, the turbo. Yeah, before it sounds like a regular car. Now it sounds like a turbo. Uh, I love it. So that's how we uh, installed it. And uh, yeah, that will be it for for that video, guys. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, watch the whole theory that we have in uh, rebuilding this car. And we did some more mods on it. You can check the playlist for the whole car for the 2021 Mazda. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.